Myanmar's leader Aung San Suu Kyi has at times appeared a forlorn figure in Singapore. Atrocities committed by the Myanmar military against the Rohingya has been one of the main talking points during two days of meetings between leaders from Asia and beyond. But at the end of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit, another weak statement was issued, calling for accountability but offering general support to the Myanmar government. Malaysia's Prime Minister has been the most vocal critic of Myanmar and is unlikely to have been satisfied with the final statement. We uh, urge that uh, efforts uh, should be made to correct the wrongdoings. It wasn't just the Rohingya crisis creating tension at the summit, it was also trade. And instead of Myanmar being isolated, it was the United States. President Donald Trump didn't come to Singapore, but his America First policy and the U.S. trade dispute with China overshadowed the summit. With the U.S. in a battle with China for influence in Asia, it was left to Mike Pence to try to reassure regional leaders. We said very early on that America First doesn't mean America alone. The United States is also a vocal critic of China's actions in the South China Sea, where the Chinese are involved in territorial disputes with several countries, including the Philippines. The U.S. Navy patrols the area as part of its push for freedom of navigation to be maintained. But the Philippines' president believes that's dangerous. China is already in possession. It's now in their hands. So why do you have to create frictions, strong uh, military activity that will prompt a response from China? Other claimants to the rich resources in the South China Sea, such as Vietnam, disagree and welcome U.S. military support. Whether it's trade or territorial disputes, Southeast Asia is the potential flashpoint between the Americans and an expanding Chinese presence. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Singapore.